Could bullying have caused a Montville High School student to take his own life? That's what police are trying to figure out tonight after the death of a 10th grader on Friday. News 8's Tina Detail on the scene in Montville with that story. It certainly is a somber day here at Montville High School. A student takes his own life, and many now are asking why. On 15-year-old Joseph Mende's Facebook page, there's a clear message. Stop the bullying. Stop the pain. Allegations being investigated by police and the school. We may never know why, but I can tell you that the school district is taking these allegations very seriously, and I feel like we've exhausted every um, effort. Pam Aubin says there is no evidence Joseph, who started at Montville High in the fall, was bullied. He had a good attendance record and seemed to be well-liked. Montville High is pretty good with handling bullying, so hopefully it isn't tied to bullying. And if it is, I definitely think they'll take steps to prevent it from happening in the future. Kiana Bonagora knew Joseph when they were younger. She was more concerned that he be honored. Students and staff wore his favorite colors, blue and orange, and observed a moment of silence at the end of the day. It was definitely respectful. I know a lot of kids were getting teary-eyed, and he just said some nice words about Joseph, which definitely brought up a lot of emotion for some of us. This is, he's a great kid. That's a lot, you know, it's really sad. Counselors are available for students at the school, which has an anti-bullying policy in place. The superintendent is asking students not to post comments about Joseph's death on social networking sites like Facebook. It can be a faceless, anonymous way to gossip and to make, to speculate, which could be very hurtful to the family. Mm -hmm. The school is sending out these letters to parents to explain what happened and also talk about the importance of communication. There's also a second page with tips on how to deal with a traumatic situation like this. On the scene in Montville, Tina Detell, News 8.